Bola Ahmed Tinubu has identified as a supporter of Adams Oshomale in the APC crisis and has named 2023 ambition as a cause of the crisis. And the university association, which had earlier supported the implementation of the Integrated Payroll and Personal Information System, the EPs, has withdrawn its support. This is Plus Politics, and I am Benny Ark. A major leader of the All Progressives Party, APC, Bola Hamed Tinubu, has declared his support for the embattled APC chairman, Adams Oshomele. What is surprising, however, is that he has connected the crisis to the 2023 elections. He stated that those behind the crisis have been infected with the 2023 virus, as he calls it. I wonder, does the other statement have information that we're not privy to? Joining me on Plus Politics this evening is a political analyst, Fumi Ayola. Thank you, Fumi, for joining us on the show this evening. Hi, how are you, Benny? And also, we have an astute political analyst, as always. Bolaba joins us also on the show this evening. Good evening, Bolaba. It's a pleasure to be on your side. Thank you for coming through. Now, um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu has finally thrown his weight, or shall I say, shown his support for the embattled APC um, National Chairman Adams Oshomele. How do you react to this? Bolaba, I want to start up with you. How do I react to it? is still a developing story. As we speak, he has unsheathed his own hand. We know where he stands. And we know that those who are seeking for the political decapitation of Oshomole also believe that he may somewhat be more predisposed to helping some agenda that Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is being speculated to have. And let's be very honest with ourselves. Some are condemning those who went to court for not having exhausted the machinery of uh, conciliation within the party. Anybody in Nigeria would know ordinarily that Baba Konde is the political alter ego of Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. So it's still an evolving story. Today, Oshia Mole won one and lost one. He lost the fact that the Court of Appeal uh, postponed indefinitely the sitting to decide on the removal of the injunction yes. that led to his suspension as the chairman of the party. But he won. He won the most vital one. The president ultimately waded in at least more firmly than he ordinarily does. It matters not directly affecting him politically. And he has, uh, he has convinced the party, the, the, he has convinced those who would want tomorrow's neck meeting to hold mm. to postpone it. So. Now, now, for me, I come to you. Now, um, do you think this statement, um, this, this, well, he's come out to, to tell, let us know what, what side of the divide he's, he is. Already the party seems divided as it is. Do you think this statement further divides the party, cause more division in the party? And considering the power of Bola and Metinubu wields, do you think this in any way might affect him in any ways? Okay, so one thing about politics I have found out is that politics, there are no permanent enemies, no permanent friends. All of them have, everybody has permanent interests. So right now the interests favor a side and don't favor a side. So everybody will choose sides on the interest side. It doesn't mean that when another interest comes over that pays one person more than the other, the rearrangement, the arrangement will not rearrange. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. I mean, the, the only thing I, I find that um, Balamet Tinubu said that made sense was that We've given up on um, governance in the country, that everything is about elections. Nobody wants to take time to, okay, this next three years, let's govern. Everybody is just jumping from one election to another, yes. and they're not bothering to really govern. That's the only thing I, I, I actually saw in everything he said that for me made any sense. Now, but I really yeah. want to believe that, that that statement itself is very patronizing. Let's be very honest with ourselves. Uh, there are speculations out there that Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is up to something. It's not in the presidential uh, election, yes. So, really? let, and, and let's be very honest with ourselves. Politics is about gaining tomorrow today. And we borrowed a system that is prone to partisan 
ultra partisan abuse. Look There's at what is even look at look at what is even happening in America where the system was borrowed. It takes average of two years for the opposition party to go through the rigmarole of shadow elections within the party yeah. before the ultimate but candidate. They still but, 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 can, can we totally can we okay. totally um, take away partisanship when it comes to politics? You can't. I mean, can, can no, we no, totally possibly. separate the two? But, but, then we okay. should but also... the system, yes. unlike Westminster parliamentary system, okay. this system allows for the cacophony of politicking. No, nobody's to, saying to, they should be You're getting it wrong. Governor. There is no how can politicking in any sane climate. How can politicking override governance? The reason why they're in politics in the first instance is to govern. And so they don't govern. Everybody's politicking. The country is slowly grinding down to a halt. And then we think that it's the politics that will save the country. Wait, wait, that's not the job. The, Nobody's uh, saying that the, no, the no, politics will save the country. That, you're, say, you're saying that. You have run yourself that. into a cul de sac of borrowing a system yeah. that does not work where it was borrowed from. Uh, look, be, be realistic. So we, we, call them, we call them 49 wise men, but we have discovered that they were as foolish as possible yes. with the system they gave us, presidential system of government. Look at America. Is America working? At the federal level, especially. And you have borrowed it in a climb where intellectualism is even very anemic. In politics, and you don't see you don't see people who are resolved to govern holding political offices. So we are where we are. That is the reality. Now, now your thoughts, Fumi. I'm going to come to you in just a bit, so you can express what you want to say. Now, do you think this this statement by by Hamed Bola Tinubu could, could, could cut it for the cost division in the already divided party as it is? We can't deny the fact that there's there's a division within the APC right now, and would that have any negative effect on on the person of Ahmed Bola Tinubu? To be honest with you, the matters are still as they were before he made the pronouncement. You think nothing the is The only difference now is that the president has asserted himself more, as he ought to be doing, because his aloofness has left the party floundering more than any machination of any of the factions within the party. Now, now, for me, it's, it's, well, it's barely three years to, to the next general elections. Now, how, how do you think all of this power toss to and the similar division within the APC could affect them come 2023? Okay, so there's one thing I've, I've learned about the APC. As much as I'm not particularly curious about the, con, con, uh, about the um, party, yes. but um, Ahmed Tinubu, the man is a master strategist. Let's not take that away from him. So even in the midst of all this, this um, division, uh, somehow, he always manages to come out on top. And let's not forget, this is in Nigeria where money talks. And so he always manages to put that, that angle always comes up. Money always talks in this country. So at the end of the day, no matter the, um, the angle, I mean, let, let me, let's use um, which state was it, that all the house of, all, all the members of the house decamped to the one party, just because the um, the governor the governorship candidate the appeal went on the governorship candidate was changed. What I'm trying to say is that in 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 Africa today, yes, that division will be there in APC. But the truth of the matter is that the people who are in the who are in the core in the core in the core of the party yes. remain the core of the party. That's the way I, I say it. Now, well, I just want to take you on something you did say earlier when, while you were expressing your opinion um, that we, we have a borrowed parliamentary system of government and which is not devoid of partisanship. You, you have, you have uh, presidential system. system. Yes. So what do you think and can be done? Uh, what can we do now? Is, can this be corrected? Because can our politics, can our democracy be devoid of this system? It could be corrected. It's okay. just that those who ought to be more forthright in correcting it, don't want to correct it. You must remember that in the 2014, 2000, the 2014 uh, uh, constitutional conference that was held, the, the, the people who attended that constitutional conference suggested a hybrid between parliamentary system of government and presidential system of government. Ostensibly, you still have a president but the president will not be too prone to, to, to politicking as it is under the presidential system. But when uh, President Muhammadu Buhari won 
uh, the 2015 elections, he said he was not going to countenance it. As we speak, he has not even opened it one day because he says he's not predisposed to it. We are where we are because we have a political class, let's be very honest with ourselves, who always enjoy, they complain about the system when they are out of the corridors of power. Look, let's take basic U.S. Uwes Committee's report. Okay. Muhammadu Buhari, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, pa, Baba Akonde, they were vociferous voices supporting the recommendations of Uwes yeah. when that uh, report was given. Where are we now, five years down the road, when President Muhammad Buhari is the president, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is the titular national leader of the party, Pa Akonde is a very influential member of the... Where are we now with the recommendations of Uwes? The Eighth Assembly, the Eighth National Assembly, passed an amendment bill to the Electoral Act. They said because of some uh, grammatical technicalities, the president did not sign it. The Ninth Assembly, predominantly controlled by the APC, has been in place for how many, for almost a year now. Yes. How long does it take to pass a bill? For me, any, any thoughts on this? Okay, so we all know that the grass is always going on the other side. What am I saying? Today I'm on this side of the table, I make all the noise. The moment we cross over to the other side, we begin to see the other side view. And that's the way it has always been in every, um, in every political system in the entire world. I mean, I remember when um, Obama's um, ratings were dropping and he did something with, um, what's the name of this terrorist? Osama bin you know, Laden. yes, and Trump, Trump was like, yes, I expected that that would happen. And the moment something happened with Trump's rating, he did exactly the same thing. So the truth of the matter is that everybody, whichever side of the divide you're on, you're going to be shouting. It's, it's just normal. Uh, you see, no. I it's, was, it's normal. You know, I practice politics in better climes. You, you understand? I was a politician in England, and I know that irrespective of the partisanship, there are some things that, as a, as a political class, you would make yourself do because of generations coming after you. When you over, when you over aggrandize the advantage you have in, in partisan politics, the polity, the entirety of the polity suffers for it. Look, there used to be a time in England, let me give you a typical there used to be a time in England that the prime minister could decide not to call for election once he or she still has the majority of the support in parliament. At a point, as a result of agitations by the two parties when they were in opposition, at a point they came to the conclusion that, you know what, the, prime minister, the, the office of the prime minister must be tenured, average of five years, except certain constitutional, major constitutional issues happen. Okay. So what I'm saying is that if while they were in opposition, they knew that the electoral act we had then and the, the management of our election was so, was so, was not given the best phase of our democracy to the world. Now they are there, they've been in government for five years. We cannot have elections like Kogi and Bayesa and just think that we can speak grammar and, you know, just explain it all. Okay. okay, I think, can I just say something? All right, please, I think the, mis the mistake you're making is that in, in your mind, you're thinking that the reason why they made all that noise when they were in opposition was because they really felt those the, it wasn't those, it was just for the sake of being in opposition. There was never a time when they agreed with you. You don't seem to get it. I'm not a politician. Yes, I'm just I'm, telling I'm, you. I'm, 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 I'm I, no, a I political analyst. I must speak to what should be done right. Yeah. Yes, we're not saying uh, so, you I'm just trying to explain the reason why we all, that's why when they get into power, they have no, they have no plan of changing. So for me, you are saying they never had an intention of change. No, I'm not just, no, uh -huh. I'm not justified yet. So we no, must, we must make justified. them do the right thing. Who are the we? We are the people okay, so who are other exactly, interests in this democracy thank you, who would want things to run much. well. Thank you very much. My question is, where are the people? Now, let's take a, and I tell people, oh. no, no, let me, let me. You are explaining away no, 200 million no, people? No, no, please, let me explain. Let me explain my point. Uh -huh. One second. But, but okay, the, the 200 million state. people voice will have to be by representation, be right? No, not to the representation. Let's talk about the voting. Okay. Our present governor, Lagos State, today got how many votes? 
In Lagos State today, we have over 80 million people holding voters' cards in their hands. My governor won with what? Less than 10% of the voting capacity. So where are the people? Look, Fumi, you don't seem to get it. Okay, let's move on. It is the systemic injustice that the politicians are exploiting and those systemic injustices are what are making an average person not to be able to do what a sovereign... Why is it that in some polities, Australia, Brazil, it is indeed a civic duty that you must perform at the expense of being, of, of, of suffering criminal, this thing, that you must vote. And yet, we are a democracy too, and 18 million, oh, so, sorry, 8 million Lagosians yes. mm -hmm. supposedly registered to vote, and less than a million decided who will be the, the governor the of Lagos State. Exactly. And the best I can do as a political analyst, not a partisan in the party that won, mm. because of any systemic disadvantage mm. it, that is rigged against the people, mm. what I can do as a political analyst is to speak the truth to power. We must mm. change this if we want this democracy to survive. Simpl simplicity. All right, we, we need to move forward now. Now, I want to quote something Bola Ahmed Tinubu said while he was speaking. Now, he did say that many in the political class and in the media have been infected with the old ambition virus 2023. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at the political scene that has played out since the end of 2019, how true do you think the statement is? How true do we make of the statement? For me, let me. It's very true. Everybody is about ambition in this country. And that is the most, that's the saddest past part of the situation that we are at. People, are not, people don't go in the office because they want to help. They're not there because they want to make things better. They don't run for office because they see, they see a change that they can make Though there's a wrong that they want to write. No, it's just about ambition. It's about the title. I'm, I mean, I'm a member of the federal ministry, I'm federal house of rep. I'm the governor to the, this. I'm, nobody is going there. It's just all about the ambition. It's not about the people. And it has never been about the people. Now, the irony for me is that if his own political blood were to be tested, <laughs> he'll probably test positive too. <laughs> for, for the same, for the same accusation. No, no, but because, no, no, you, know, you see, I like I said, I'm not crazy about it beside the party. But you see, I always believe in when something is right, you give you give respect to what something when something is done right, and when it's done wrong, you open your mouth and say, look, this is wrong. To be honest with you, everybody says yes, he would have tested positive to that ambition. But to be honest with you, several so times, several times yeah. he has stepped down his ambition okay. yeah. for the greater good. Several but, but, times. But, but, you yeah. see, when, when I hear that, I want to believe that <laughs> maybe, I, I hope you are not a cat carrying APC member. Me, oh, I'm not a member of and the APC. And I hope you are not joking. And I hope you are not joking to be. No, I have look, no, I, no I plans was, to be an APC member. Let me tell you this. Yeah. Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is an astute politician we all know that. who knows how to play his game. Master strategist. And to be honest with you, where I'm sitting at now, mm -hmm. ostensibly the speech is very uplifting. But the truth when is that when you have the machinery of the party in your control, other elements will believe that the infrastructure of the party, the management infrastructure of the party yeah. is rigged in your favor. You expect them to just work within the machinery where Oshio Male was, was suspending, left, right, and center, suspended, deputy president of the, uh, uh, deputy chairman of the party, northeast, deputy uh, chairman of the party, northwest, some strategic officers of the party, two governors, uh, uh, two gubernatorial, uh, candidates of the party, uh, so you don't want them in in a country that defines itself as a country that functions under the rule mm -hmm. of law. You don't want them to use the machinery of the law. Now, now okay, we need to quickly move on. Um, do, do you think, for me, do you think, in the light of all what's been happening and what's bedeviled the, the APC chairman Adam O'Shea, do you think he should continue fighting for the leadership of, of the party, or should he just do the noble thing? And resign as it is. Penny, have you ever seen Nigerians do the noble thing? 
Have you ever seen them anywhere? Do the noble thing. They don't do the, where, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nigerians don't do the noble thing. The honest truth is, if I were Adam Zashomali at this point in time, I'll step down. He's done his good deeds. Like Tinubu said, the guy has been a major mobilizer for the party. He's putting a lot of effort in yes. that. Everybody can see that. And he knows that. And that's so, why he feels the yeah. call for so, his for So, his so at this point in time, he should, he should be able to say, okay, look, I've done my bit. I'm here. I mean, if he was really here to serve, he can say, look, I've done my bit. And step down. But in Nigeria, we don't tell uh, like, well, In conclusion, there, there seem to be a power toss for the leadership of the ruling party. Giadom, Abiola, Ajimobi, Waziri, Agar, Buluma, Agar, and all that have been said to have joined the race. What do you think would be appropriate? Uh, who do you think might be appropriate to, to lead the party as it is right now? I'm not a member of the party. Hmm. Whoever emerges, who will sit here as Let's consider the persona of the people we've listed. To be honest with yes. you, to be honest with you, the A B A the APC for me as at this juncture is a train speeding to its destruction. 2023 is actually remove remove the stature of the president from president the party, Muhammadu Buhari yeah. and leave leave the power players in the party to play at the game they know best. I don't see a party beyond 2023, to be honest with you. But you know what? I am not a prophet. I can only rationalize from what I piece together, but that party may not have a life beyond 2023. Do you subscribe to that? I, APC might not have a party no, beyond 2023. I, I really don't agree. Why? Because, you see, the APC is not a party. The APC is a party that keeps reinventing itself, which is the reason why it was able to, to, um, to take the leadership of the PDP. The APC is always reinventing itself. There's an issue. Somehow they get together and do a reinventment. Like I said, I'm not an APC member. But you see, when you see something that is doing, when, when you see something that is right, you need to be able to say, all right, this seems to be a, a, you know, and if you're doing something wrong, you said the same thing. Come the, 2023, you think they'll still be the ruling party? No, let me see. In 2023, yes. I really believe they'll still be the ruling party. Thank you very With much. With free this. and fair elections, they will be. If if we had in an, a free and fair if we, election, if yes. we have an election akin to what took place in Kogi, APC will win all over again. <laughs> if we have a free and fair election we like the win. one Muhammadu Buhari celebrated. When he came to Into power, power in and, it, yes. and because of that, Jonathan, good luck, Dr. Goodluck, Jonathan has earned his respect. You must remember, you must remember that I campaigned vehemently for Buari. Buari yes. Buari lost me just one year down the road when I knew, you know, it was going to be a do-nothing government. Mm. But let's be very honest, they've done some things beyond what PDP used to do. Infrastructure-wise, I can't take some things away from them. But you know what? If the elections affair in 2023, it will, be, it will be miraculous for APC. All right. Political analyst, well, about thank you very much for your contribution in this segment. And also, Fumia Yola, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank and thank you for staying with us. We'll take a break now. And when we return, the latest on the toss between ASU and the federal government on the EP's initiative. Stay with us. <laughs>